Welcome to our YouTube video. We're here to discuss the heartbreaking story of a 74-year-old British woman with Alzheimer's who was recently threatened with deportation from Sweden. Kathleen Poole and her family had applied for her to remain in the country post-Brexit, but were rejected because of lacking financial documents and an up-to-date passport. However, after interventions from the European Commission, the Labour MP Hilary Benn and the UK Foreign, Commonwealth, and Development Office, the Swedish authorities have decided to place on hold the deportation of Kathleen. Kathleen's family is extremely relieved that she is no longer under threat of being uprooted from her home and being forcibly removed from her children and grandchildren who she cannot even recognize due to her Alzheimer's. Her daughter-in-law, Angelica, expressed that she is incredibly relieved, for now, but also sad that it has come to this. What would have allowed for the deportation of Kathleen in the first place? According to a group of charities in the UK, the misapplication of the Brexit withdrawal agreement by the Swedish Immigration Authority could have been avoided with the use of the well-thought-through guidance for British caseworkers on post-Brexit rights for the EU citizens, which could have been mirrored across Europe. This guidance includes mandatory recognition of someone's mental capacity and lack of valid passport ID, as well as mandatory alternative evidence of identity in cases where there are compelling or compassionate reasons. The European Commission assured that they remain closely in contact with Swedish authorities on the application of withdrawal agreements provisions with respect to vulnerable people. However, the struggle of Kathleen and her family serves as a stark warning of the difficulties that post-Brexit rights can cause to vulnerable people who struggle to provide evidence of their identity, status or residence in other EU countries. Although this case has come to a halt for now, the threat of deportation still exists if the well-thought-through guidance of EU citizens in the UK is not adhered to in other EU countries. There needs to be a greater focus on the needs of vulnerable people and similar stories in order to ensure that no one else is subjected to the cruel, inhumane and deeply shocking experiences that the Poole family has gone through. This highlights the importance of following the correct protocols for the post-Brexit rights for EU citizens and the eradication of any inhumane experiences. Thanks for joining us in our discussion of the recent story of Kathleen Poole. We'd love to hear what you think in the comments below and follow us to stay updated on other similar stories.